guys! Hope you guys are doing well today. The purpose of my video today is to talk to you about particles. Everything around us, ourselves, everything is made up of particles. And particles are so teeny teeny tiny that they're really really hard to understand. So what I wanted to share with you today was a video demo um, that shows how particles what they look like, supersized, and how they act in different situations. So let's take a look at the video demo. Here we have water in three different states. We have it as a solid, a liquid, and a gas. And with this, you can see how differently the particles are moving. The particles in the solid are very, very close together and almost kind of like they're just like shifting around, like they're vibrating a little bit. In the liquid particles in the center, they are moving definitely more than the solid particles and they have more, it almost looks like larger collisions with each other. And lastly, on the right, the gas particles are all over the place. It's probably even hard to keep track of which particle is which because they are moving all over the place. And you can see that all of these are zoomed in and supersized. And so this is the same substance looking at it in three different ways. A solid, a liquid, and a gas. And how those particles actually looked at, look and act. So you might have a clue then as to one of the things that causes changes in particles. One of those things is heat. This is the same substance. This is water. Well, what does it take to get liquid water to gas? What does it take a solid block of ice to get to a gas? It takes the addition of heat. Or what if we had a liquid water and we wanted to make it a solid? What would we need to do? We would need to remove the heat. And so the particles change when the temperatures change. If you, if you look at this here, we can actually watch a phase change happen. With the addition of heat, we go from cooler and a solid. You can see that it is at a temperature of negative 10 degrees Celsius and I can slide this over and as I add a little bit more heat and it goes to zero degrees Celsius which is the freezing point of water the particles start to spread out a bit and are have a bit more motion going on if I go over one more and we're at 20 degrees Celsius we actually end up with liquid water the particles are having that fluid motion with lots of collisions with each other and even more space in between the particles. As we continue to add heat and we're now at 80 degrees Celsius, you can see that the particle collisions are happening even faster than what they were before and the particles are moving even faster. As we get to 100, we have now moved to the gas stage of water and we are at 100 degrees Celsius and the particles are moving at super warp speeds. If we go to the very highest, it takes it even faster. So what are some things that you note as we go from cold through the process? How do these particles change? I want you to think about those things, think about how they change, think about the causes and the reasons for the change in the movement. There's a big difference between a solid particle motion, a liquid particle motion, and a gas particle motion. And as it goes through those phase changes, all of these things happen. And there's some key vocabulary here I want you to think about, so let's take a look at this. This is our vocabulary for phase changes. And we're going to be applying and using all of these in a larger sense in class where you're going to get to explore some different phase changes. Through this process, we're going to have a better understanding of what each of these mean. What I would challenge you to do is actually to create an image that organizes these words to make sense with how the particles move and what phase change they relate to. 
when it is in a solid, what kind of phase changes can it go to? Can it go through evaporation? That's something that we need to think about and we need to talk about as a class. So that is our challenge for leaving today. I hope that this information about particle motion makes sense to you. If you have any questions, I want you to feel free to ask. Again, in class we're going to be exploring more about phase changes and actually seeing these particle motions in action. So we'll see you next time. Talk to you later.